Imagine a future where disease is treated without the use of drugs, eliminating expensive pharmaceuticals and their potential side effects. Imagine a future where illness can be treated with a small implantable device, a device that can cure you with simple electrical signals. It's not science fiction. The future is closer than you think. In fact, it already exists in the world of research. Dr. Kevin Tracy is at the forefront of this new age of medicine, leading the charge in a field known as bioelectronic medicine. And Dr. Tracy's most recent discovery has the potential to revolutionize medicine as we know it. Dr. Tracy has developed a way to treat a range of diseases impacting the immune system by implanting a small device on a patient's nerve. The nerve is then stimulating, telling the human body to make natural chemicals needed to treat an illness. The device is a targeted treatment, eliminating the need to take drugs. Patients are also spared harmful side effects and reoccurring costs that normally come with pharmaceutical treatments. Recent clinical trials using bioelectronic devices have been completed in Europe, successfully treating patients suffering from rheumatoid arthritis, offering them and many other patients hope. The nervous system is nature's information superhighway. It controls end organ function by modulating activities such as molecular release and muscle tone. Over the last 300 years, our understanding of the nervous system has grown immensely, yet our ability to influence it and treat disease remains limited. Devices that harness electrical impulses to modulate muscle tone and neurotransmission do currently exist. But, leaving aside the complexity of the brain, we believe that recent technological advances provide us with a way to achieve precision neuromodulation in the peripheral nervous system. Within peripheral nerves, we plan to selectively target bundles of axons with an entity that can read and write the signaling patterns passing through these fibers. These devices will treat disease at the point of the end organ. In the longer term, we want to read and write the action potentials that travel in each of these individual axons. To achieve this specificity, we will attach the device to the nerve bundle in question. The device itself could be electrical, perhaps taking the form of conductive polymers, wires or nanotubes. These could be inserted into the fascicles to trigger the activity of specific axons. Or it could be optical, involving fluorescent nano-reporters. Alternatively, these micro-devices could be electromagnetic or ultrasonic in nature, wrapping around the fascicle, reading action potentials and writing code. Through such precision, we believe these bioelectronic medicines will not only be a new avenue for treating disease, but they will have greater therapeutic benefit and fewer side effects. So imagine a day when bioelectronic medicines sit alongside existing therapies, treating disease through the peripheral nervous system. They could be harnessed to target the nerves that control the constriction of airways in asthma, for example. Or they could change the firing pattern in the nerves to the gut, treating inflammatory bowel disease, diabetes or obesity. Bioelectronic medicines may help fight cancer by modulating the firing pattern of the nerves to tumors or resolve problems in bladder or pancreatic function. By targeting nerves to the ovaries, these medicines may be able to treat infertility. The list of opportunities goes on. But to make this a reality, collaboration between all disciplines is essential. Biologists, engineers, material scientists, neurosurgeons, research funders and others need to work together if we are to make a medicine that speaks the electrical language of the body. To help the people we know and love do more, feel better and live longer.